Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie, your She Shit Scrapper. So today I am back with another dual purpose video. One, I am joining a YouTube hop called Hitting the Books. So definitely check out everybody else that is participating in the hop. I will have their um, links down below. But then also this is the kickoff for my September mini series using cut files. So I am going to be using a geometric cut file um, from Paige Evans. It's that apple there. And I decided to, I guess, kind of mix it up a little bit and do some mixed media instead of um, backing the cut file. So what I started with was gesso on the page. Uh, it looks thicker than... I guess it's going to dry. Um, I was really hoping that kind of the letters of the background paper would kind of pop through. And once it is dry, it does. So I was pleased with that. Um, I am using the School Life Collection by Simple Stories, one of their newer collections. I actually got it from Scrapbook Studio NC. Um, so definitely check out her shop. I'll have the link down below as well. Um, She's got some great product and using the link you get 10% off and free shipping over 35. Um, so definitely check that out. So this video definitely was done in lots of different parts, I guess, over several days as well. Um, part of it was because of the mixed media and the other part is just because life happens. Uh, the kids are home still for school or from school. Um, and so it's just been a lot more difficult to scrapbook with them home. So I did this in parts, um, but it works, whatever, I guess works for you, right? So I decided to do like the smushing technique or the packaging technique. Um, I used three different colors here and just kind of place that all around the, um, gesso. I did get some off of the gesso as you can see, um, but it is what it is. And then what I decided to do is glue this down. And one thing I do like is that when it actually did dry the um, distress oxides, it dro dried a little bit lighter. Um, it's not so bright. So I was happy with that. So I decided to glue the cut file down over top of the mixed media. And then using the same three colors, I decided to kind of um, splatter the colors over top of the cut file as well as the rest of the page. Um, just give it a little bit, I don't know, extra, I guess, grunge look almost, I guess is kind of how I would call this with the smushing technique. Um, but I really like how it turned out. And really, once I get this done, the rest of the layout is quite simple, I guess. Um, it doesn't really take much time whatsoever. So I guess I kind of kept with that grunge look, I'll call it, um, and used the ripped paper technique. Um, I decided to use the orange and then the backside just happened to be that really pretty um, dark blue and kind of multicolored polka dots. And so I just layered those um, across the page top and I am going to do the bottom as well. Um, just because partly I just wasn't sure how to embellish, I guess. Um, and I just felt like adding kind of a strip at the top and the bottom would kind of help almost also bring the focus into the middle a little bit more. Um, I knew I didn't want to over embellish because the mixed media is quite busy. So um, I felt like adding those papers to the top and bottom kind of just help fill in some space that I wouldn't feel like I had to with embellishing. So um, I do end up going into my alpha stash. Um, I'm going to use one of the chipboard pieces from the collection that says school. Um, but this is my oldest graduating from <laughs> preschool. Um, and so I'm going to use it as a preschool grad um, and just do some different fonts, different colors. Um, so pre is quite small, but I kind of like it that way. And 
then I'm going to kind of go and embellish. So I really liked that banner and I thought that would fill in that top space quite well. And then there was a little paper clip uh, sticker and so I did actually add that uh, as the dash in preschool and I just thought that was really cute. And there is uh, a cap so I'm going to pop that up on some foam tape and overlap it onto the title there. And really, I am going to add just a few more embellishments. I am going to embellish the top a little bit more um, with that and use that yay banner and just add some um, of the brads. The newer brads are amazing. They're actually just stickers, not the metal piece that you gotta poke through. So I love that. Um, but on the bottom there, I added a chipboard sticker and then a little, I think it's a puffy sticker that says follow your dreams and added a brad um, at the bottom and then added some of the brads at the top as well. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and definitely make sure you check out the other participants in this YouTube hop and stay tuned uh, for every Saturday in September, I will be using a cut file. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.